Today we are going to talk about the miracle of science in the Quran. Uh, till right now, they find more than 1,000 information of modern science written in the Quran more than 1,400 years ago. There is a book called It is the Truth, People of Science are Facing the Quran. In this book, they bring the biggest uh, people of science in the world from Canada, from uh, Germany, from France, from uh, uh, USA, majority world Americans, also from Japan, from India, from Thailand, etc. So, uh, everybody in his branch, and he's comparing what the Quran is saying, what the modern science is saying, and some of them became Muslims, the others, they are just they are shocked how this information could be written uh, more than 1,400 years ago, and you know it with the high technology uh, now. Uh, so, for example, about the uh, theory of Big Bang. We know that a uh, long time ago, there was uh, many millions of years ago, there was an explosion happened, and uh, the sun, the moon, and the uh, earth were one mass compact, and then everybody was, uh, of them was separated. And the first cell is done from water. Uh, this is written in the Quran. Uh, those who didn't believe, didn't recognize that the earth, heaven and the earth were one mass compact, and then we separate them and made from the water all living things, would they believe? Uh, here we, means God, it's for the respect in the Arabic language. For example, uh, we have, for example, who is making the home of the spider, the female or the male? Uh, the female is making the home of the spider, and there is a uh, scientific from Germany, he became Muslim because of only one letter in the Quran, because we only can know the difference uh, between the female and the male. Uh, if we put one letter more in Arabic, it means it's a female. So, uh, the female is making the home of the spider, and not the male, and even sometimes the male are helping in some groups of spiders, I mean, in some... Uh, sorts of uh, spiders, but it's the female is making and not the male, and this is also an explanation in the Quran more than 1,400 years ago. About, for example, where is the lowest point in Earth? Professor uh, George Washington, uh, he was showing us uh, with his telescope where is the post, po lowest point in Earth, uh, and when he, when he was comparing the sci modern science with the Quran, and he shows that it's in uh, it came with the uh, telescope. It's in proximate of the Dead Sea in Jordania and Palestine. Uh, Palestina. So uh, it's written in the Quran also where the lowest point in Earth. For example, uh, we have uh, we know for information about the atoms. First, the atom exists. Second, uh, before the people of science of Greece and uh, Orthodox, they think that the smallest thing in the world. Is the, at, uh, is the atom, but now we know that there's something smaller, it is a particle. Third information is more than one atom together, they make the molecule. In 1950, the astronomer Zwicky, he discovered that the atom doesn't exist only in Earth, but everywhere. Sky, Earth, everywhere. A sky and Earth, everywhere. These four informations are written in one ayah in the Quran. Uh, ayah, like sentence, but it's not sentence that you understand what I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, for example, uh, the plants, there is male and female in the plants. It's also written in the Quran, we know it new. It's written more than 1,400 years ago. Uh, for example, uh, the Professor Armstrong from USA, he was comparing the Quran with the modern science, and he's showing us that the, now we discovered that the iron is not coming from Earth. Because to make one atom of the iron, you need four times the energy of all the systems solar. So it's impossible that the atom is coming from Earth. Where it's coming from, the stars, very high temperature, come here in another form. So uh, this is about the iron, and it's in the Quran uh, that the iron is coming, the explanation of the iron is coming from up. And also about the iron, uh, in the University of Sydney, of Sydney Australia, there was uh, a student, uh, they were talking about the iron and the and the modern science, uh, the Quran, and then uh, this student, he noticed something, he said that uh, the, there is a surat, just like chapter, but it's not chapter, just you understand, the name of it is the iron, and the ayah which uh, God is talking about, the iron in it, uh, it's the number of this surat and the number of this ayat, the difference between both of them 
is the same difference between the number uh, of the atom, uh, the number of the atom of the iron, and the uh, weight of the atom of the iron, or vice versa, or vice versa. Um, not sure. So this is about the uh, the iron. So those are the short uh, scientific explanations of the ayahs written in the Quran. Uh, for example, XX and XY, before in India they were making uh, problems with the woman because she bring, uh, she brings a, a girl. Uh, and now we know that with the modern science that there is something called XX and XY. XY means a boy and XX means a girl. And only the sperm of the man which is saying if it's uh, a boy or a girl and not uh, uh, had nothing to do with the girl. Uh, for example, uh, in the Quran, they put the Quran in the computer and they find that the words and the opposite of the words have the same number. For example, uh, uh, how many times the word man or men written in the Quran is the same number like also the, like woman. For, and also, for example, how many times the word uh, angel or devil written in the Quran is the same number. So words and opposite of the words got the same number in the Quran. Uh, but now something strange, uh, how many times the word uh, water or uh, the explanation of water like sea, uh, etc. It was written uh, 32 times. And how many times the word uh, land written in the Quran it was only 13. So it was not the same number. Why? So they put 13, 32 plus 13, it gives us 45. Now we'd like to know the percent of the, of the water from the total and the land from the total. So we find that the water is uh, 71% and the land is 28%. Uh, uh, that's what we took in the geographic when we were children, that in this earth there is 71 uh, water and there is 28 land. Uh, about the ant in the Quran, uh, so the explanation of the ayah uh, that the ant she was talking in the Quran and she's telling her friends, uh, enter to your habitations, otherwise uh, Solomon and his soldiers, uh, her, his army, they may crash you without they notice, without they take care. Uh, so how the ant from the beginning can talk? Uh, now we find uh, in 2009 there is a video, uh, it was about the ant, that she's not only talking but she's also singing. And the ant are communicating together by uh, three ways, like chemical, uh, chemical uh, communication or visual, etc. And at the ant, she was telling something strange in the Quran, she's telling her, uh, uh, like her, her other ants, enter the habitations, otherwise Solomon and his soldiers, they may crash you without the notice. In English we say, I crash the glass. And I run over the insect. So how somebody can crash the ant? She's not a glass. And uh, now we find that the body of the ant is the composition of uh, the material of silicon, and the silicon is uh, the majority of the composition of uh, the glass. And then also the body of the ant uh, doesn't contain uh, bones. So it's uh, not in the Quran, for example, uh, interior habitation of the otherwise salmon and his soldiers, they may break you. So there is no bones in the ant. Uh, and for example, if a human being he uh, break uh, an arm, so only the arm is broken. But other, but the ant is not the same. If something is broken in the, if something uh, if a problem in the ant, so everything is broken because it doesn't have bones. Uh, third thing, uh, in YouTube, uh, two years ago, uh, there is a website, uh, there is a video on YouTube, uh, but we don't have to do this because we respect the natural and the animals. Uh, they, uh, they threw the ant from 2,000 meters uh, up by special way, and then, uh, and even uh, less, 1,500 to 2,000 meters, and they find that the ant, uh, she doesn't, uh, that the ant, we can't run, o we can't run over the ant. Uh, because of different uh, different reasons. For, uh, first, the ant she is very light, and uh, when she uh, she fall down after this, she doesn't uh, her speed doesn't uh, go more on. Uh, second thing also because of the ant she has in her antennas, uh, she has muscles uh, so very strong, and uh, this is also one of the reasons. Uh, third thing, the ant she is making the flex uh, when she's getting down. And we can hear it uh, with also uh, an apparat. And then uh, also uh, the ant also uh, she's uh, making this 
this this part very this part very uh, big when she's getting down so uh, she's also uh, resisting by this way so those, those are the four reasons why we cannot run over uh, the end uh, the why the end uh, uh, couldn't be run over uh, run over when she's getting uh, through it from a higher place uh, uh, the surah also of the Quran, the surah uh, is chapter, it's not chapter, but that you understand, uh, of the ant is in plural. Why uh, not in single, for example? Uh, because the ants, they used to live in groups. So if only one uh, ant, for example, if one ant go outside from the group, the minimum group is seven. If she go outside and she doesn't go to another group, which is minimum seven, she die uh, normally and she can't stay, uh, live alone, not like the spider, which is living alone. And the ant in the Quran, she's telling her friends, enter your habitation. Habitations uh, is with S. Now we find that the habitation of the ant are very, very, very large and very, very big, extremely big, and uh, they find one habitation is uh, is going through different countries like Italy, France, uh, etc. And uh, it, it's uh, 6,000 kil kilometer and the very very high the habitations too and she's telling them enter your habitation the word your is uh, because it's not doesn't belong to somebody else to another ants why because now when they put uh, other ants from other uh, other habitations uh, to these habitations they were uh, aggressing them and they were killing them and they defending their uh, their place uh, but when they put another ants from the same place they didn't make any aggression uh, aggression uh, toward them so it was here uh, to your habitations and not to habitation of somebody else and then the end also in the Quran uh, when she was talking she was using 13 words in the Quran and now we know in the modern science that the ant when she's communicating uh, she uh, to, to send a complex message she need between 10 till 20 uh, till 20 uh, words with a, a with a chemical uh, way of communication and then the end in the Quran too uh, she's telling them enter your habitation otherwise Salomon and his soldiers they, and his army may crash you without they notice without they see you because why without they see you because here she gives the excuse to Salomon and his soldiers because uh, if somebody believes in God and he uh, is clear that he has a good heart so if he see an ant he just doesn't have to, to to, 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 to kill her like this, he will take her and then he's not, he's not, he avoids uh, run, uh, walking on her. Uh, so this is about the end uh, in the Quran and there's still a lot of information just in this ayah so we didn't really talk about everything just inside in this ayah. And uh, also about, for example, the, there's a book called The Bible, Quran and Science of Professor Maurice Bukai. And this book took the first prize of gold in France and it was translated into 11 languages. Uh, the original language is French. In 1993 it was in its 15th edition. And uh, in this book, uh, Professor Maurice Bukai, uh, he was comparing the information of science in the Quran, the information of science in the Bible, and he was showing us that uh, the information of science in the Bible is not uh, going well with the new science there is uh, uh, many mistakes but uh, in the Quran everything was shocked and right and actually uh, in the Quran the explanation also uh, is written in the Quran about that, uh, the explanation that uh, the people they change the word of God in uh, in the Evangel and Torah which they call it but now we went to the moon and we know that the moon is not, there is no light it's just a mirror it's just a reflection of the source of light which is the sun is so the sun is the source of the light and the moon is the reflection and also uh, this explanation also of the what's written in this explanation also was written in the uh, Quran and for example about uh, the Bible Quran and science also the Professor Maurice Bokai he was uh, he was he's a surgeon and he was also uh, comparing uh, different points for between the Quran and the Bible for example the story of the prophet Noah in the Bible and in the uh, uh, Quran uh, when uh, with a boat so there is one information in the Bible with more than the Quran and uh, it was wrong with the new science it's about that everybody in the boat in the Bible uh, and everybody in around everybody in the world uh, he was destroyed and uh, but uh, now uh, but in the Quran so not certain about that everybody in the world was destroyed uh, uh, 
So uh, now uh, we find with the history that in this time of Prophet Noah, there was a civilization which are, uh, which are extremely strong and high and getting more high and it was not destroyed. There is another point in the Quran, in the, in the Bible, but here in the Quran there was more information, more than the Bible, and it was the Prophet uh, Moses. When the Prophet Moses, he was, uh, uh, when there is a Pharaoh in the time of Prophet Moses, on him the peace, and uh, uh, when this uh, Pharaoh, he said that he is God, so God punished him, uh, he, he punished him in the water, he, he he died in the water, uh, and it's written in the Quran that the explanation that um, God He will save him with His body to be an example for the people which is coming after him, uh, because He said, "I'm God." So uh, after this, uh, God wanted that we discover His uh, His uh, body, His mumia, that uh, when people see it, ah, oh, this is not God. So uh, He just a human being like us. Uh, so this information also was more than the Bible, and it was uh, found by Prophet Maurice Bukai uh, from France, which he was also uh, as well converted to uh, Islam. And uh, about Professor Kust. So uh, he was, uh, he, before he died, he discovered uh, information which is very, very important with the modern science about the seeds. And uh, these informations uh, also uh, are, are written in the Quran, the explanation. So, for example, that the seeds, uh, Professor Cousteau, he discovered that the seeds, when they come together, for example, like salty water with fresh water, when, uh, and salty water with salty water. When salty water is coming with salty water, for example, in Mediterranean, with, for example, uh, Red Sea or etc., when they come together, they don't mix. Why? Because he find that between them there is a wide barrier and in this barrier it's uh, uh, everybody from the both seas are losing his qualifications and became natural in the middle because actually both are salty but they don't have the same qualification of water this one is more salty than the other this one is more hot than the other this is the density of water is different there is fish are living here there are the other places that are also li living there if they go here or there they die the, everybody has his place and in the wide barrier between them which is neutralized both of the two seas also in the middle the, 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 the fishes are living in the middle and they can go neither, neither, neither here but about the fresh water it was different uh, because fresh water was coming with the salty water, the reason here why they don't mix is something else, because in the middle there was another uh, salty water which separated both of them. So this is about the seas. About, for example, the moon. There was a man from uh, England, somebody gave him the Quran, so he just uh, opened the Quran any page and he, write some, he read something and it was strange for him, he read that the moon was broken. So he closed the Quran, he didn't want to read it again. And once he was opening the TV and he was uh, talking about, there was uh, three men from the United States, they went to the moon and they were coming down and talking with the man which is uh, in the TV and they telling them uh, they, he was telling them why you spend all this millions of money going up and uh, we need it for poor people like for example African and so on so they were telling him that normally when every, every time we go up we are discovering things and we are to help the people and the science and the medicine with it so last time for example when they went up they discovered something uh, they discovered that uh, if maybe they, they said that if they maybe they give money to the people to believe it maybe they wouldn't believe it and it's uh, that the moon was broken uh, and up uh, they find that uh, there's a part of the moon another part of the moon uh, they have the same age but the one in the middle it was the, it was newer um, for example about the uh, uh, Colombo when Colombo he discovered the United States uh, it was just nearly 500 years ago but is the explanation uh, of the ayah in the Quran is, is the lord of the two uh, sunrises and sunsets. So in Saudi Arabia there is one sunrise, in uh, America there is another sunrise, so here there is two sunrises. And in Saudi Arabia there is one sunset, and the, in USA there is another sunset, so here there is two sunsets. And uh, in other places in the Quran is the lord of the sunsets and the sunrise is the explanation of the ayah. So, uh, because the earth is, is round. Uh, for example, also about the uh, where is the place in the body which we are making two things. We are lying and we are making mistakes. Exactly the place is in the brain. And where exactly in the brain is in this place. And uh, there is also uh, one ayah is talking about uh, this, the explanation. So, uh, for example, about the brain of the man and brain of the woman, uh, we discovered now since nearly two years, uh, it's around maybe 2008, that uh, the man and the woman both they have the same, uh, like we have ears, eyes, and brain, and so on, but inside is different. The woman, she has two places. One place is for thinking, and one place is for talking. But the man, he got only one place, is for thinking, and is for talking same time. And there is an ayah of the Quran, the reason of it is because of uh, this
a reason wallahu alam for example the fly we know now that the fly for example if we have a dog and we give the dog a piece of meat and the dog uh, he threw out the piece of meat after five minutes we find the piece of meat just like this but for for example we too we need 30 minutes to digest for example in medicine when we take it uh, to go to our uh, organism but the fly no everything the fly take it directly uh, go to uh, to the organism directly uh, so uh, also there is an ayah uh, uh, which is talking about uh, this the explanation for example uh, the plants uh, there is a plants uh, male and female and uh, also uh, we talked about it before that also there is uh, what modern science they find it also it was written in the Quran more than 1400 years ago the explanation and uh, for example about uh, this earth which we are living we now we discover since not long time that it's getting it's getting bigger and uh, also uh, this is a scientific explanation of what's written in the uh, Quran for example about the uh, professor, uh, there is a professor called, his name is Professor Kate Moore, he's from Canada, he's Canadian, and he made a book, uh, it was uh, called the, the, Develop, the Developing of the Human Being. This book took uh, uh, the first prize in USA because it was done by one, only one scientific, and at the same time it's a reference for everybody uh, in the world in embryology. And this book uh, was uh, 1,000 pages. So in this book also, in the third or fifth edition, the professor uh, Kate Moore, he changed the name of the book, name the book now is uh, after he changed it uh, the developing of the human being with uh, Islamic modifications and in this book uh, he was showing us that since only nearly 30 years we know uh, many informations about uh, embryology by the high uh, technology and machines and so on and this uh, was information was written in the Quran more than 1400 years ago plus he finds something new from the Quran and he gave it to the modern science uh, also he and he also convinced to, Islam, convinced to Islam he and another uh, professor from uh, from uh, Canada. There is, for example, about the mountains. There is a professor from Japan who was comparing the mountains with the Quran and uh, if now we know that the mountains are making the stability of the earth. Uh, second thing, the mountains, uh, for example, if a mountain, mountain is high 1,000 meters down, is still more and more deeper. And these two information also the explanations of what's written uh, in the uh, Quran. And then we have, for example, the bee. Uh, where is coming the honey? from the bee, where exactly from her body. The honey is, getting, is coming exactly from uh, the bee, from uh, her stomach. Uh, so uh, also, th this is the explanation of what is in the Quran. And second thing uh, for the bees, we find now uh, that the bees, uh, they make, uh, before Shakespeare, he was saying that the bees uh, are, uh, in Shakespeare, in his theater, he was saying that the bees, they are, uh, uh, they are, uh, they are uh, soldiers and king and males and so on in his, uh, but now we discover after 400 years of research about the bees, uh, they discover that uh, the bees, they are not uh, soldiers, men, and they are women and queen and girls. And in the Quran also the term was for uh, the feminine when uh, uh, there was uh, the bee in the, the Quran. And then also uh, it's about that uh, they make uh, homes for the, for the bees, uh, they make uh, uh, three homes like this one they call it XX, X, X, one oh, oh, this one is LL and then they took the bees and then they write on these bees which is going outside from her home X and this is L and this is O uh, to, to know that they're coming from the same uh, place and then uh, they, the bees they went very far away to the gardens and then when they went to the garden and then uh, they write also in the place which she went, she went for the X uh, from home X to the garden X and O, 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 L, L, L and then uh, the bees she was going there and then she was getting back to the to her, her home and then she was telling her friends uh, the, the other bees uh, about what she find which flowers and so on and the bees they're getting to the uh, same place exactly uh, bees which are from the home X to X M L to L O to O to, and they get to get the, the food from there and also it's a scientific explanation which uh, what's written in the Quran uh, once back again about the spider 
the explanation of what's written in the Quran uh, about the spider, when the spider, uh, that's the spider, uh, that those people which took another protector than uh, Allah, than God, and by the way, uh, Allah is not uh, new, Allah is God, and in the Arabic Bible or the Jewish, uh, the, for example, in the Old Testament, where the, the Jewish and the Christian uh, Arabs, they say also Allah, and it's written Allah in the Arabic Bible. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, and the Arab Muslims are only 18% of the Muslims in the world, but there is 82% are Muslim, but they cannot speak, they don't speak Arabic as a mother tongue. Uh, so, the majority of Muslims are non-Arabs too. So, uh, but the Quran is, uh, came uh, to Prophet Muhammad on him the peace, uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in uh, Arabic. So, about the spider, the spider, she's telling her, uh, the, the spider, those who took another uh, protector than Allah, than God, than Allah, they are like the spider. She took home, and those are the weakness home, if only they know. And those are the examples which we are giving to the people, and only the people of science will understand it. And uh, as we say before, that the female is making the web of the spider the home, and not the male. This is one thing. Uh, second thing, uh, those people, uh, we don't know how uh, to make a home of the spider. Uh, the spider she's making first, uh, first, uh, uh, first, uh, uh, like sticky, sticky surface, and then the other uh, insect when they come inside, they can stick, they can't move, and then she doesn't kill them. She waits. See, 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 they die inside. Then she came and then she put another uh, surface which is not sticky that she go down and then she can eat them. This is one thing. So inside there is a lot of uh, uh, blood and the, the killing and the, the hunting and so on. The male of the spider, if he doesn't, uh, when he came inside the home to make the sex with the girl, if he doesn't escape in 15 minutes, she will she kill him inside and she is much more bigger than him. The children also inside when they bo they are born, also the, the the strongest one is killing the weakest one and so on. So a lot of blood inside. Side, so it's not really a nice home for living and plus that we can see everything happening in the spider home like we see if uh, anything happening because there is no cover inside or so on and also the home of the spider is uh, like uh, we take our home for protecting from sun from uh, cold from rain etc but the home of the spider is just open uh, so this is really a weak home so um, it's, uh, uh, it's written in the Quran that the explanation uh, of what's written is that uh, those who took another protective than Allah, they look, they are like the spider. She took home, and it's a weakness home if only they know. So this home is weak, as we see. Even now, they are making from the spiders, uh, from the spider, spiders' home. They're making the jackets anti ball which is uh, but uh, but uh, it's weak from this uh, side. I was uh, explaining before. So those people who took another protector than Allah. They are like the spider, she took home. Everybody would like to have a nice home, a uh, comfortable home, everything is nice, but the home of the spider is full of blood, uh, full of problems with the children, they're killing each other. Uh, she is even killing the male if he just doesn't escape away, uh, run away. So uh, it's, a, uh, it's not a comfortable home, and nobody would like to have a home like this. So those people who took another protector than Allah, uh, they are like the spider. They think that uh, those uh, people will protect them, and uh, those people, uh, but actually they will, f they will find that uh, uh, they are not uh, like the spider when uh, she took the home and the home was not uh, uh, good uh, as well as uh, other homes which we can have it. And uh, here we find that the female is making the male, uh, the female is making the home of the spider uh, and not the male. And uh, the man of science of Germany, he became Muslim because of just one letter of the Quran. Because, as we say before, that we know that this language between the female and the male uh, in Arabic by just one letter, like in French too. If you put e more, so it means it's uh, a female. Once the Prophet Muhammad والسلام, he was giving a khutbah. A khutbah is like a lesson. Then he heard uh, a palm was shouting, so he get down and he holds the palm till the palm stop shouting. Uh, how a plant from the beginning can shout? Now, uh, with the new, uh, with the modern science, we discovered that the plants feel. For example, when there is a, a big insect is coming to attack a plant, the plant is defending itself by uh, giving a bad smell. So the big insect is running away from the bad smell. But something uh, strange happened now. When a small insect is going to attack the plant. The plant in this case is uh, giving a nice smell. Why nice smell? 
because uh, uh, we find now that the plant is very intelligent so by the nice smell uh, the big insects they like the nice smell and they came and they uh, came to the nice smell and they find the small insects so they attacked the small insect uh, by that way the plant is defending itself
اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان لا اله الا اشهد ان محمد رسول الله اشهد ان محمد رسول اشهد ان محمد رسول الله اشهد ان محمد رسول